you have definitely heard about paradise lost but have you heard about paradise found well today we have found paradise in paradise found which is a property in a gated community along Kiambu road that spreads across these lush gardens well manicured and maintained and it is about 1.1 acres of land with two units you have this 600 square meter four bedroom house then on this other side you have a three bedroom which is about 380 square meters of space and to add on that they also come with separate garages and staff quarters then they overlook your gardens where you have this well manicured glass then you have those flowers that act as your fence and behind that you have a beautiful stream that you can listen to i think this show is becoming about nature and nature like if you look at the last three episodes they all have something in common nature as part of it or what would you say willis yes i think uh, at this point in time yeah nature must come together with human life exactly yeah, yeah. and it, it is such an honor for us to be experiencing these properties in that way yes yeah and I, i'm really really excited to take you through this show as you experience these lush beautiful gardens as i've always said the property is not good enough if i can't see myself doing a wedding in that property and for this one it is the perfect one even if my wife to be decides that to invite 500 people with this i'm sure we can fit them over this beautiful definitely garden. that's a very huge garden <laughs> that's a very huge garden yeah? yes and i like how they have made you know sometimes when people go into nature they try to adjust nature to fit them yeah. but in this case they have allowed nature to be yeah. for example the way this has been just left to be and you actually have to bed unless you're really, really short Maybe if you're four feet, you can pass here. Yeah. But if you're taller than that, you definitely have to bend to the will of nature. And that for me is one of the beautiful aspects of this property. And uh, let's continue to this other side because these stairs or steps lead to the front of the property where we have this other space where most houses, it would be cobra paved. But because in this case they were allowing nature to win, they actually left it to, you know, have grass. And I'm sure people are wondering, how do you maintain all this grass? It must be very expensive. Well, you have a stream over there and that makes it easy for you. And I'm hoping that later on with this we can, or maybe now you can show a bit all of how they have a pod there where they get the water from the stream and that is the water they use to maintain these lush gardens. Yes, and the good thing they said is it doesn't run dry all year long. The stream is yeah. there all so the time. So the, the land is always green. And talking about those lush gardens, you also have to talk about that forest. Yes. You know, I posted a picture yesterday of a house that had a forest <laughs> and there was a very funny comment that caught my eye. This guy was like, why is this house covered in trees? It should be clear so that we can see. And I just said to him, man, if you don't get it, forget about it. Because <laughs> forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> Because I don't understand how you would clear that forest. Like, I mean, look at the nature, the beauty that you get in this place. Yeah. And you know, just like the last episode that we, we featured, this property also gets monkeys because of these trees and the fruits that they have within the property. Yeah. So if you're about that life, then this would definitely be a plus for you. And from here, we can see the facade of the main house, which is four bedroom, again, also covered with all these planters that have been planted across every other space. Like you look at the fences, you have plants. You look at uh, the gardens, you have plants. There are plants everywhere. And this is, this is when you buy this, you're buying into paradise, actually. Definitely. That, that is why the property is called Paradise Found. So, I mean, I mean, Willis, yeah. why, why are you not buying this property? Why are you advertising it? <laughs> the only reason is that I don't have that money yet. Yeah. Yeah. But if I had the money, this would be off the market. You, you wouldn't have an episode. <laughs> you wouldn't have it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And behind you, Willis, that's why we have the gate. I forgot to mention it because I'm you know, overwhelmed by these beautiful gardens. And that gate helps you access the street level from where you can access the main gate of this gated community. And actually, the house we featured last week is also in this gated community 
but about 500 meters from where we are. Yeah? Yes. So you sort of get to enjoy the same neighborhood. And if that property was maybe, I don't know, you can compare both and see which one wins your heart and therefore take the one that you want. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And th on this other side, we have a garage that we're going to talk about later on. Now let's take these steps so that we can go into this beautiful house and see what it is all about. And before we continue with the show, Willis, I want to talk about this tiling. I, you, I'm using the word tiling, but this is actually bluestone that they got from Georgia, and it looks very, very beautiful. Don't you think, Willis? Yes, yes, they're very beautiful, and yeah. it's hard to think that they came from Georgia because it's, it's not quite a common cladding. Exactly. And most of the times, it is used for cladding. It's used for cladding, But yes. this developer used it for the tiling. Yeah. And I think one of the best things about this is that I've realized it, 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 it looks different in different spaces. Yeah. He did mention that now, because this has been exposed to the weather conditions, it needs a little bit of polishing to give it its true color. But you will see how it uh, sort of looks different in other spaces inside the house, yeah? Yeah, definitely. So with that, let's walk inside and see what the house has to offer. You have this massive wooden door opening to your foyer, which is wood laminated, and it is quite expansive. On this side, you have the staircase leading you upstairs. Then you have a door on that side that opens to the living space. That door takes you to the TV room that you're going to see later on. Then you have this beautiful chest that I've actually been told is from the 50s, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, can you imagine? And it is made of comfort. Yeah, comfort, Chinese comfort. Chinese comfort. Yeah, and when, when you open it, there's that, there's that uh, breath of, scent. Yeah, scent of yeah. the comfort. And that actually helps keep uh, bags off this chest. So yes. you're, if you keep documents here, they're safe. They can stay for years without anything tampering with them. Yeah. Or even your beddings. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's a collector item. That is a collector item for yeah. sure. <laughs> and you see a lot of these art pieces in this house, unique art pieces for sure. Definitely. Then on this side, you have a small office and I like where it is positioned just next to the main door. Therefore, if you have people coming there, I mean, you can just host them without them going into your house yeah yes and on this other side you have what was many people would use it as a guest bedroom but as the owner of this house was telling us they made this space for their mom who is actually a bit who is, who is old aged yeah and therefore instead of putting her in a home for old people they actually made a space for her comfortable enough where she can walk in and they're in even if they were using a wheelchair it would be comfortable there are no steps and it is wide, everything is easily accessible. That is why you can see all this cabinetry made to level. And therefore, even for people who are aged, this would be very, very much comfortable and easily accessible, yeah? Yes. And uh, maybe it's what, in fact, I, I, I would call it a junior primary bedroom because it is very spacious. Yeah, very spacious, yeah. very huge as well. Yeah. And with the walking closets, and also there's a, there's a thing they said about uh, the doors, yeah? yeah. You see, there are grills on the doors, yes. but they are using this room also as yeah. a panic room. Exactly. Yeah. Here you have a door that leads to the closet, but it's locked at the moment because it's also the panic room. Yeah? yeah. So you can use this door to lock it off if need be. Yeah. And uh, therefore, remember this property is actually sits on a blue zone, which means it is friendly for the UN and uh, I mean their associates. Yeah. Yes. On this other side, you have the bathroom space. Welcome to the bathroom. It's quite expansive, which is why I use the word the junior primary bedroom. You can actually use it as the main bedroom if maybe you have trouble walking up the stairs. And I believe this is how you should design a house for yourself. Because as the developer was telling us, people forget they are going to grow old at some point. Yeah. And they build as if they will always be 30 or 40. Yeah. Then you get to 70 and your knees are trouble yeah yeah so on this side you have a grass and cross shower area that has a sitting position very comfy for aged people then you have your vanity setup looks very nice then you have your tub water closet and even a bidet at this point i think every developer should put a bidet within their space what do you think really is about that yeah i think that should come as a standard yeah because at this point in time yeah i don't think there's anyone who should be using a tp without yeah no, without uh, water yeah. as well eh? yes okay then on this side you have this glass door that opens to the tv room and you have actually have mama here watching tv and hi, we, hi how are you <laughs> <laughs> we interrupt your peace peaceful moment we're sorry about that okay 
Okay. Yeah. What would, okay. what would you say about this house? I mean, you have lived here for quite a while. Yeah. And now you're selling it. it, yeah. And uh, I feel like going back home. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Since my husband died. Yeah. And uh, it's a very big house for us. Yeah. Yes. Are you going to miss it? A hell of a lot. Yeah. What would you say about the gardens? Uh, every, everything was put by my husband. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. It was put in. Yeah. 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 It looks very beautiful for sure. Yeah, yeah. Then, okay, you actually have a very nice view of the gardens from this TV room, but you're going to talk about that later on. First, let's move on to this other side. Okay. Willis, Willis, what would you say about this TV room? Is it enough for you? Yeah, it's enough. I mean, we don't need to have quite a very huge space for our TV. Yeah. yeah. You know, we just need a space where we can watch TV and be comfortable with it will work for me. You can also turn it into a game room. Yeah, I can also turn it into a great game room. Yeah. I can also turn it into a like a cinema, you know, yeah. and have just a lounging bed instead of a seat. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, you know what I was thinking? Uh -huh. I would actually use it as the office. Because yeah. you remember Ennis episode, the one he you were telling me to watch? Yeah. And uh, I don't know, that's, that's not the one you're telling me to watch. Uh -huh. The one before. And the owner of that house was saying how most people build their house, their offices on the ground level. Yeah. And forget that you're going to spend a lot of time in the office. Yes. And you want views that inspire you. Uh, so for me, you that, also want that, that, as that, a, that would yeah. actually be my Actually, my, that my will be the most yeah. appropriate use yeah. of it yeah, exactly. because of the views. As and well. also remember, you walk straight into the room, yeah. into the into the office. Yes. Okay. Scratch scratch the the cinema part. Exactly. Because that will obstruct the views. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then you have that beautiful mirror there that leads you on to these steps that take you to your living space. And as I said, we're going to see a lot of art pieces in this one. Look at the table console. It's just not another piece that you find out there. It was well curated. Everything is well thought out. Even look at another one. Willis, look at this, yeah? And yep. you know, all the photographs, you can imagine the kind of history that this car is, yeah? Yes. Then you have another one over here, I like it, and the way they have made use of it is a candle holder, then all you can also use it for your pictures, yeah? Yeah. Very beautiful. Then this space is all wooden floors. You have more cabinetry on this other side. It is a beautiful sunken lounge, wouldn't you say, Willis? Yes, it is. Yeah. And I like the fact that it is a sunken lounge. Yeah. Yeah, because now it feels like a very comfortable place to have conversations because, you know, of, of the levels. The levels, yes. And, and look at the seats as well. You remember when I was we were shopping for seats and I was telling you how these light colored seats look beautiful? Yes. Do you agree with me now? Yeah. Uh, Totally agree with you. They are better than the grey and the blue tones. Yeah, the only the only the only reason why uh, I will go with the grey and the blue tones is because I have cats, wow. and they are always you know pets. They are always on top of. There's a dog yeah. in this house. You're yeah, getting where's Skippy by the way? Yeah, but, but Skippy is well behaved. Skippy doesn't go and sit. He know? doesn't sit on the chairs. Yeah. but he's everywhere on the floor. I yeah. like that about it. Yeah. Then and, and you can see we're actually getting carried by the conversations because <laughs> this is a place for conversation. On this other side, you have your uh, your fire up space, and I believe these are also blue stones that have been used here. Yes. And you would actually be tempted to think they are rough, yeah, but they are they are so smooth. Yeah, they are so smooth. <laughs> they have been well polished. I like the wooden cladding they have done. This actually reminds me of that other house because it also had this uh, wooden cladding on their fire spaces. Yes, and I also like that it is raised, so cleaning is easier. Mm -hmm. And also this this is this is very beautiful. Look at that candle holder. Yeah. It's quite quite a very unique feature. Very unique, yeah? yeah. These are not things that you just walk into any store and find. Yeah. These are things that you have to curate for your space. Yeah. And for me, a home is where there's beauty and uh, thought behind it. Yeah. Not just someone going out and correcting things in a shop. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> On the, over this other side, where is, what would you call this? Because last time we saw a station and you called it a... It was a, a coffee station, station, yeah. So what you do, this is what? I, I think it's a wine station. This is a wine see, station, yeah, and it actually see. moves. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you even have the mixer at the bottom there, yeah. so you can definitely mix your drinks from there. You're really keen on that. You don't miss about drinks. Eh? I never. I never. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I, I, I was inspired by Wenger the last time we were at his place. Yeah. And he had that cut that uh, uh, that had, had yeah. all the yeah. liquor in there. Yeah. So I, I really want to do one for my you house. You want to well. get one for yourself, yeah? yeah? <laughs> then you have these glass doors opening to your patio. We are back overlooking this beautiful garden. So we started the show. And <sighs> Willis, uh -huh. when you talk about green spaces, you know, this, this, is, this is it. Yeah. I mean, uh, nature never seems to miss. Yeah. Uh, when you're one with the nature, I mean, the silence, the birds, the river flowing, you know, the, all, all that sound, like it brings in peace. That, that, that is why even at this place you can live a longer life than most people. Than, uh, than most people. <laughs> yeah. And even if you have problems, you're dealing with your problems in, in, in a very serene environment. Yeah. And at this point, I actually feel lucky that we get to experience all these beautiful properties, mm -hmm. that people open their doors to us. It, it's an honor, actually, because most of the communities are now turning into half-acre lots. Yeah. Even if you go to Ronda, it's a lot of half-acres. Mm -hmm. But to get a property that actually comes as a one, one acre, this is actually 1.1 acres. Yeah, 1.1 plus the river. Plus the river, yeah. plus neighbors who also care about the environment. Yeah. And actually the neighbor has eight acres of land. And they have built their and own house. They have built their own houses, so they, <laughs> they don't need to build anymore. They had done, actually. Yeah. They care about it. Like they, This is how they want the place they to be. They want the place to be. Yeah. So, I mean, like this would be your view for a very long time, unless something changes, which is not quite usual. Yeah. Yeah. Earlier on, we were having coffee here, and we were just soaking in this the breathtaking views and my goodness. The owner of this house did not put a covered patio. Reason being, they were trying to avoid uh, blocking the sunlight from getting into the house. Yeah. And I'm there with them 100% because they have toured houses where they have a patio over here. Yeah. That means you get limited natural light within the house. Then again, uh, mm -hmm. when, you build, when you build a patio here, you will do it so that you don't get a lot of sun heat coming exactly, to you. Exactly. But now if you're using glass, then yeah. there was the essence of that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'll just leave it open. Just because enjoy it either like way, it is, during yeah. the rain, yeah. I wouldn't you, be you wouldn't seated be here. Yeah. You'll be inside. Yeah. yeah, I'll be inside. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, moving on to this other side, they actually have a covered patio. So you don't need to cover that one, yeah? Yeah. But you can open it up if you want. And I like how they have used these planters to provide shading and even privacy for this section. So if you have a small grouping of people, like three of us, maybe when we're discussing business, next strategies. Yeah. So this is where we'll come and sit down, have some coffee and so on, yeah? yeah. Okay, on this other side, they have a pizza oven but as they told us, they have never made pizza here because they're not Italians. <laughs> <laughs> they use it to roast uh, goats. Yeah, yeah. goat meat, goat they've meat. done chicken, yeah, they've done, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do we call butter in English? Uh, turkey. Duck. Duck oh, or turkey? turkey and ducky. Yeah. They stuck this duck and they stuck. <laughs> Taki and duck. Yeah. <laughs> Taki is batamzinga. Yeah. Okay. Then duck is, um, what is it called? The, uh, ducks is ducks butter. butter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's it's a uh, it's good actually to have this. Yeah. 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 I would probably try to make a pizza. My sister likes trying out stuff. So, yeah. 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 So this I'm will sure definitely work for her. This will work for yeah. her. She likes a homemade pizza. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, over there we have a door that leads to the kitchen, but we're going to see that later on. And from here you can see how this blue stone is very different from how we saw it at the front. Yeah. Yes. So here it's because there isn't much natural light hitting it. So yeah. that's why it looks like this, uh, mm -hmm. but still needs to a bit of polishing. Yeah? yeah. Then you have these glass doors open into your dining space, and it's an expansive dining space, uh, raised as compared to the living lounge that is sunken. So in this case, they have a six seater, but I believe you can do even a ten seater here if you wanted. Yeah? Uh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, it's really spacious. Uh? Yeah, you can okay. even fit a round table as yeah, well. Yeah, you can fit a round table comfortably. Yeah. Then, then you even have this uh, cabinetry here, so it can work as a serving station and so on. There's even a table here, another, I mean, it's, it's so big for a dining area. Yeah. Um, However, you also have another service station. You have so. a service station. <laughs> and I, earlier on, I was wondering whether I should call it a service kitchen. Maybe that's not the right word, uh -huh. but maybe you can call it a cabinetry or a central point between the dining area and the kitchen. 
Yeah. And this is actually now when you realize this is a big house. Uh -huh. Because it's not common to have such spaces within kitchens, yes. most kitchens. Yeah. So you can also, because, and earlier on, the owner of the house was explaining, and I've never even thought about that until when he mentioned. Yeah. So instead of storing your glassware, your plates, your utensils in the kitchen, where there is oil and everything, smoke and so on, yeah? mm -hmm. where that smoke and oil can settle on your cabinetry, on your plates, on your glassware. This is now where you store your glassware, your utensils, away from the, everything that goes on in the kitchen. Yeah? Mm. And they have also used this space for extra uh, fridge and a freezer. Yes. So this is really nice. Yeah. And I know, especially my mom has a lot of glassware, you find glassware, every, even in the bedrooms, you find glassware yeah. because it can fit in the cabinetry. So this would, mom, I hope you're watching this. We should have this for your house, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so moving on to this other side, you have a pantry and uh, it is well stocked. Yeah. Spices, everything. I, I assume you'll find every spice in the world here <laughs> because it's really well stocked, yeah? And uh, earlier on I had mentioned that this door leads to your outside. You can use it to access the kitchen. And there's also a sink where you can wash uh, maybe glassware. All, uh, once you're done roasting meat, you can wash uh, those uh, cutlery. cutlery over there. Yeah? Yep. And moving on to the kitchen space. Welcome to the kitchen. Quite expansive, starts from that door. And you have your cabinet starting there. Then you have a space for your cooker and a six burner one for that matter. You have all these windows ensuring you get nat good natural lighting within the kitchen. One thing I haven't talked about really is the tiling. Look at how it is well tiled. Yeah, all, all the, the way, way up to the, to the top. top. Yeah, yeah. Then you have a central island, which provides more workspace for you and a double sink on this side and enough cabinetry for that matter. There's even a space for a double fridge behind you, really, sir. Uh -huh. And on this side, you have your laundry space. So in case you were wondering where is the, where's the laundry, there you have it. Huh? Yeah. Okay, and uh, moving on to this other side, this door opens to the front of the property. And on this side, we have the garage that some of you might have seen when you are starting the show. And above it, is where we have the two bedroom staff quarters. It comes with a kitchen. When your staff is living in this property, they really feel like they're one with the property. Yeah. Or, or would you say that, Phyllis? Yes, yes, especially if they have a two bedroom yeah. uh, staff quarters. Yeah. You know, like they'll be comfortably Very comfortable. Yeah, yeah, living like it's it's you know their home. Exactly. You know, like a lot of these spaces, uh, they live like in a tiny room, and yeah. you know a lot of people are not comfortable. Yeah. So something it's, like it's that. It's like they're being reminded you are staff yeah. here. You are staff here. <laughs> but but in this case, yeah, Nambio <laughs> Karibu Nyumbani. Yeah, Karibu Nyumbani. They have <laughs> they are well taken care of. Yeah? yeah. And we are back at. The entrance, I like that you can just walk around and around. And now we're going to take the staircase so that we can see the bedrooms upstairs. Off the staircase landing, you get to this central point that can actually be used as a sitting area or a small kitchenette. In fact, I believe next to you, Willis, is a fridge. Yeah? Yep. Uh, so you can access a quick drink in case you need one. There's a coffee table there. And on this other side, you have what the owner of the house is using as their primary bedroom, yeah? yeah. So welcome to this space. You have your bed, very expansive area. So you have your bed space, a sitting position. Earlier on, as you're checking the house, Ray was commenting about this furniture. It fits the, the home, yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the furniture in here are just collected pieces. Yeah. Like, they are not uh, one of those you walk in into a furniture store and yeah. you do, uh, nipatie, nipatie, this one and yeah, this one and yeah. this one. Pieces that have been collected. Especially this one. You are very curious about this piece. Yeah, I was own. very curious about that because yeah. it's like a depiction of Lamu doors or Lamu yeah. windows. Yeah. Yeah. They bought it from the coast as yeah. well, so yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, then you have all these windows ensuring you get natural lighting. This overlooks the garden on this other side. So you can just chill here, listen to the river or just the birds singing and yes. so on. Yeah. Yes. And on this other side, you have the bathroom space. Let's check it quickly. You have your vanity space, your tub over here and uh, the water closet and the enclosed shower area. And uh, moving on to this other side, you have a closet, a walk-in closet. So there you have it. This is how you know 
the man of the house doesn't have, I mean, a few shirts and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we don't need a lot. Eh? We don't need a lot. Eh? <laughs> but moving on, I didn't talk about this piece, but earlier on, really, uh -huh. I was just very curious about it. You know, always find this very fancy. Yeah, like, yeah. Like when I, I imagine and I grow old and I'm 90 year old, uh -huh. I have such a cabinetry in my house that I'll leave tiny pieces and hope my grandsons or granddaughters will find them yeah. and, you know, and try to piece dots as like, like a treasure hunt of some sort. Yeah, like a treasure hunt. And actually, I actually think you can close it off like that. Yeah. And once, once they figure it out, they put it back for the next generation so that they can have the same fun as well. And that is that will be lead them to the wheel. Yeah. My properties. Ah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I must make it a bit hard for them to find those property. Yeah. yeah? They'll have to work for it, you know, in yeah. some way. And even have riddles. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's another thing. Yeah. So one riddle leads to another one. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome to this bedroom space. And uh, this one also comes with a closet. Uh, there's some stuff there they have stored at the moment. It's very quite, I like the fact that these bedrooms are actually very spacious. Yes. Yeah, yeah. you can imagine the kind of size, you can fit a king bed here, a king size bed, and it will still be, uh, there'll still be spacious, yeah? Yeah. Then you have the bathroom on this side, they're also very spacious, and that is one thing I like about it. Uh -huh. And on this side, you have your balcony space, so you can just chill over, and this one overlooks the front of the property. And even at the front of it, it's so quiet, it's so serene. Ah. Man, it's so cool. Skippy, hi, how are you? That's the dog <laughs> of the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's move on and uh, to this other side so that we can check out this other bedroom. So this bedroom, the reason we left it for last, it's, it's actually what the architect had imagined should be the primary bedroom, yeah? Uh -huh. And if you look at it, you notice that it's a bit more spacious. You have your closet on that side, and then you have your bed space on this side. You have your bathroom, quite expansive, but doesn't come with a tub. That's why now the owner of the house decided to use the other bedroom, yeah? Yeah. But have very nice views overlooking these gardens. My goodness, this is so beautiful. I can't get enough of this. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, you know, every time you see that garden, you're like, oh my God, I just want to be here. Yeah. And, and can you talk about this for a minute? Yeah. The fact that you have this uh, sort of separated uh, yep. laminate. Different laminate. Different yeah. laminate. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Looks really beautiful and gives it a bit more character. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Well, moving on to this other side, you have this door that opens to a balcony. So this one gets quite a, an expansive balcony. Uh, in case, in fact, I would probably do a nice party over here. Yeah. Yeah, so that I can chill over in the evenings, enjoy the sunset, which I believe will be on this side. And uh, from here, you can actually enjoy the sunrise because it will be on this side. Huh? Yes. Yeah, it's really well positioned, overlooking your gardens. You have a few neighbors' houses, which are beautiful to look at. And uh, wow, how quiet is this place? Apart from the birds chipping, of course. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, you are far from the road. Yeah. You know, the main road, so yeah. there's no noise, yeah. road noise. Yeah. Uh, you're just here to chill. There's no a lot of con construction going on, yeah. flats, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. It's just small houses. Exactly. And those ones don't make a lot of noise when they are exactly. being constructed. Exactly. Of which you don't have any surrounding you at the moment. That's for sure. Yeah, so this is a very peaceful place if you want to just chill, enjoy, yeah. and live a stress free life with the nature this is the place to be yeah yeah and uh, i think that's why i mentioned that actually this property the 1.1 acre piece of land yeah? yeah it has two titles because they're two separate lots yeah however the owner is selling it as one yeah yeah and this they're selling it at 1.19 million us dollars and with the current rate of 132 that's about uh, 157 yeah. million Kenyan shilling. Yeah. If you ask me, it's a deal because of the land, especially. Yeah. It's a huge deal. It's a huge deal. Yeah. yeah. Then now you have two houses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can use this as your main house. Yeah. If you have your old mom, they can live on the other house, or mm -hmm. you have your child, they people will live with their children. Yeah. Yeah. They can live on the other house, or you can rent it out. Yeah. And they're actually telling us that people have offered two hundred and fifty thousand to rent it. Yeah. But uh, they haven't been renting it because they want to sell it. Yeah. yeah. Now, even there are couples who like uh, living apart together. Yeah. So like if you are about that life living well, apart together. If you're about can. that life. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I used to think I was about that life. Yeah. But then I realized that was the one that was me before I fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> now let's jump to the other house so that we can see uh, what that house is also about.
Today's episode has a sponsor who is offering plots for sale between my Mahio and Naivasha, exactly 19 kilometers from my Mahio and 19 kilometers to Naivasha. Behind me is the beautiful Logonaut, Kedong Valley, and on this other side is the South Lake, where you can see the lake spreading out. And uh, wow, this is a commercial plot, which is suitable for a Nyamachoma joint, a petrol station, a chicken inn, pizza inn, and you know the traffic that is on this road, quite huge. And right behind the commercial plots are residential plots, and they are all subdivided into eights, selling from 800,000 Kenya shilling to 1.2 million Kenya shilling. If you would be interested in these plots, all you have to do is call Ray and he's going to tell you how you can come down here and see them for yourself. For those of you who would want to buy it as a chunk of land, it is 4.5 acre of land and Ray is going to give you more details when you give him that call. We are looking forward to that. Let's get back to the show. Back at the front of the property, you have property A on that side, that is the main house, four bedroom with its staff quarter in the garage. Then on this side, you have property B, which is the three bedroom house, about 380 square meters of space. And uh, you have its garage, the staff quarters, which is almost similar to, not almost, actually similar to the one that you have on that other side. And as just like the other house, covered in plants everywhere. And let's take these steps that will lead us to the entry of the property. And really, so what will you say about all these plants everywhere? I'm already known as a fan of green spaces. Yeah. So definitely, this, I love it. This is your space. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I like how this entry is well covered. Therefore, you're well shaded. Like, it's so hot over here. Yes. Of, like, out there in the, you know, in the open, yeah? But once you step into this space, you kind of get the cool vibe that comes with this area. And you have some uh, fish, not fish actually, they used to keep fish here. Uh -huh. But then they were like, why not just return them to their natural habitat, which is a pod just uh, next to the gardens. Huh? Yeah. And they have uh, catfish, mudfish. Uh, I can't quite remember the other the fish, other but they yeah. have, I Several. think four. Four, four species. Four, yeah, four yeah. species of fish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And over here they have the orchids, and these flowers are special because they flower only once a year. Yeah. And now you're we talking about the Colombiana movie, <laughs> whereby the girl, the main actor, every time she would maim someone, she would leave an orchid. Yeah. Yeah. A black orchid for that matter. Yeah. Yeah. Like the flower. Yeah. <laughs> you should watch that movie if you haven't. <laughs> well, this door opens to your entry foyer and I remember last time we were checking it out. This yeah. this really this was really unique. Yeah, it's a cowbell as a doorbell. Yeah. Yeah. It's Very unique. Yeah. yeah? Quite yeah. Unique, yeah. <laughs> and it's heavy duty, yeah? Yeah. Welcome to your foyer, which is very spacious. You have your stairs leading upstairs. Then you have on that side a bedroom and a powder room. Mm. Then you have another chest over here. And this this probably have you watched those movies? Um the olden movies. Yeah. This this is more like a pot, but it just reminded me of those helmets that people wear in those medieval movies. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a lot of antique pieces you're going to see in this, in this space. Yeah? yeah. There's even another chest over here. Then a cabinetry, a shoe rack for you. Then over this side, we have a spacious kitchen that comes with this space. You have your burner area or rather cooker area, the fridge space, space for your microwave a lot of counter space, even an island where you can work. Uh, no wheelies uh, likes when the islands are what, what functional. You, functional yeah? yeah. But this one is a, a bit small, so I understand why they would want it like that. Yeah. I will still have my cooktop there. Yeah. <laughs> instead, of, <laughs> instead of having it on the wall. Instead of having it on yeah. the wall. Yeah. Yes. I really find a cook, cooktops or other burners at the center of the yeah. kitchen really priceless because it means uh, you can have good conversation with people yeah. looking at them face to face yeah. instead of if I'm cooking over here I sort of have to turn like yeah. that yeah? yeah 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 like this this would be a good for malenge 
doing a, a show, a cook show. Yeah, but this, this wouldn't be the most appropriate. But mm -hmm. well, that's a that's an adjustment that you can make, or yeah. you can just have it like that if that's how you like it. Yeah. Yeah. Over this side, you have a panty space, and on this side, you have your laundry space, very spacious, and uh, you have this door that you can actually access from the front of the property, and actually your staff can also access this area right from that side they take those steps over here you have an outdoor sink area and uh, from your pantry area you can also use this door yeah? yeah to access it and we are back to the beautiful gardens and a beautiful patio that this house has actually this one has a covered uh, patio but it's temporary yeah yeah so you can take it down if you want or you can just leave it like that another beautiful space where you can have conversations you remember the kind of first space we had uh, in arumoro yeah 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 and you can definitely yeah do that here you can do that here yeah yeah definitely this this looks nice it looks perfect yeah and the cladding on that uh, those pillars exactly yeah that, that and they really did a good job with that and it looks did. nice yeah. very unique yeah and I've, i just noticed that they have done security cameras for you so yeah. in case you're all about your security that is well catered for you're not going to have me adjustments that you're gonna do over this space yeah yeah and for people who like pools i know this property doesn't come with a pool but if you look at the pricing it's really well priced and for you to do maybe a pool for five or ten million, yeah. it wouldn't be much. Yeah. And you have enough space for that. Enough space. Yeah, and yeah. plus one pool can be shared by both, both properties. Yeah, yeah. It makes, it, it makes sense. You don't need two pools here. Yeah. The actually, I think the, defi the hardest question would be to have the pool over there or over here? Just at the middle then. <laughs> <laughs> And, and part of me also thinks like I would want to leave it like that. Like, yeah. I really like the gardens the way they are. Yeah. This, this, this house is perfect. But I think, yeah, yeah, I would have it at the middle so that when you walk in at the gate. Oh, you see the you pool. You see the pool directly. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice. Damn, that's a very good idea. Yeah. So your patio extends all the way to this other side. Do you actually notice this is a lot of space? It is, it is. From that side to this side? Yeah. This, this is a lot. Yeah, quite a lot of livable space. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You can also have another sitting space there, yeah. dining or yeah. whatever. And just have it there. Exactly. Mm. And I've just noticed something cool. Uh -huh. Look at this coffee table. <laughs> yeah. This is a tree trunk. Yeah. With the stone on top. My theory is. Yeah. This one, the owner of the property made it by themselves. Egg, of course. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is handy and yeah, he's a this builder. Handy. Yeah. So it, it, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. That a couple of those chests that you have seen. He's like the one who made, made them. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And this glass door opens to your sunken living lounge, which has a high ceiling. Look at that, Willis. So you get a lot of natural light, especially because this area is not covered. Yeah. And then you have a fire space and Kiambu gets cold at, at, at times at night. Yeah? yeah. So I like that they have this fire space. It is well raised. Then they use stone over here, the blue stone that you're talking about. This is really unique. I'm, I'm really considering this for my spaces because I've just realized how, you know, tiling has become common. It's normal. It's everywhere. Yeah. But this this is gives it a bit of character and uniqueness. It, mm. it really looks good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And the cladding with the wood, I mean, look at that. It's it just, is well done. It is it's, well done. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's a simple space and uh, you have these steps that lead you to your dining space. And before I forget, really, we are just talking to the owner of the property yeah. and uh, he asked us what uh, this is. Yeah. <laughs> Can you actually believe that this is the drum of a washing machine? Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> it looks so nice, you wouldn't even say, man. Yeah, <laughs> even on the living space, Yeah, it is also a, that is a top loader drum wash. Yes. Yeah, then this is a front load drum wash. So I think the only thing I'll change about this space, I'll probably open this up so yeah, that definitely. I can walk into my patio from the dining area. You just read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that would make a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think with that, we are done with this space. We're actually going to take this door and uh, slide over to the other side of the property where we have the one of the bedrooms and the beautiful powder area that you had talked earlier about. I like the sink fabrication, it's really, really unique and uh, just goes to show the character and thought that is in this house. Then this door opens to your guest bedroom, quite spacious with a bathroom on this side, very spacious, yeah? 
Yeah. And with that, we are done with the ground level. Now let's take the staircase so that you can see what this house has to offer on the upper level. And off the staircase landing, you will come to this central space that separates the primary bedroom on this side and uh, the other bedroom on this side that we are going to check in a few. And earlier on we were discussing how we could go about this space yeah. and we decided a very good idea of opening this space so that you can have this central bridge that leads to the bedroom spaces and uh, from here you can enjoy the beautiful view of the gardens yeah. via the high ceiling that you have in the living space yes. and you can even look down on your living space. Yeah, yeah. The, I definitely have this as a bridge and then use a very big picture window on that side yeah. and a very huge picture window this on other this side, other side. Yeah. facing the front yeah. Yeah. and then just have a chandelier. Beautiful chandelier. Yeah. 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 So and you know when it's here at the central you can see it both for, from either side. Bass. Yeah. It will look very good. Yeah. yeah. So this house was built a few years back uh -huh. so they didn't have that idea. But now if you buy it, yeah, <laughs> no, but can't really so check for that. Yeah? <laughs> so this door opens to bedroom number two in the house. Spacious bedroom overlooking the beautiful gardens on that side. Then on this other side, you have the bathroom. And, and by the way, one thing I like about this bathroom, sweetie, sir, yeah. they are very different from the other house. Yes. Look at uh, the, the vanity, which is similar to what you have uh, on the powder room. Yeah. yeah. Very different. I mean, look, look at that. I don't, I don't feel like they are the same houses. Yeah, yeah. There are some similarities, yeah. but there's also something unique about every space. Yeah. Yeah. And I uh, like how this, this, especially how these vanities look. This is very nice. And uh, on this other side, you have your closet space. And uh, well, you can make some adjustments here if you wanted, do some more cabinetry to, you know, keep your stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, with that, we're done with that. Let's cross over to what will be the primary bedroom. Like I had mentioned, this can be your guest house. This can be a space uh, that you can rent out to yeah. someone else. Huh? Yeah, actually yeah. as they, they had mentioned, there's someone who had offered 240 yeah. for this space. Yeah. So it's quite a, you know, when you're renting it, it's quite a, a decent money to yeah. get for this yeah, unit. Yeah, yeah. You can even actually ask for 250. Yeah. A month if you it. furnish it, you can ask for more. Yeah, yeah. 300 even. 300, you know? yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And remember, it's a blue zone, so you and guys will pick this up very fast. Oh, yes. Yeah, you yeah. can even have it as a B&B &B or something. But that's yeah. another way of doing it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it will help you, you know, I always say, and I always tell you, yeah? Yeah. I don't think I have the strength to be to work up to my 90s or my 80s like Warren Buffett. Yeah. So at some point, if I'm blessed enough to live that long, uh -huh. I intend to retire. Yeah. And therefore, every time I think of how to build my property, mm -hmm. I think of it like a resort. Yeah. There'll be the main house covered with trees and everything, mm -hmm. then a few other houses, just like the neighbor on the other side has done. Yeah. You have their main house, then other five houses that they have rented. Yeah. So the rent you collect from those properties sort of help you maintain your main your house. Your main house, yes. So, so you don't get old and then you're like, hey, I can no longer maintain this 500 per month property. Yeah. Because such such big properties require a lot. Yeah, they, they require a lot. Like in this property, I've seen three, three stuff. Yeah, three stuff. Yeah. And that is just for one house. And you can imagine the bill of the water if you didn't have that stream. Yeah. Definitely crazy, be, uh, yeah. crazy. We'll be going crazy. So yeah. those are some of the ideas you're getting from us. <laughs> <laughs> As Mr. Leonard, our client would say. Yeah, yes, yes, I'm, yes. I'm riding on their, on their young age. <laughs> <laughs> well, enough with that. Let's walk into the bathroom space. And one thing I like about this is how they separated the tub area and the shower room area. So you have a very unique vanity setup. You can even do a double vanity if you want. Then uh, I like how they have all these seats within the bathroom. Room, yeah? yeah. So maybe as you grow old, you get tired and you're like, hey, let me take a break. <laughs> then you continue with life. Yeah? <laughs> so this window is front facing, ensures you get natural light over here. Uh -huh. And I also like that the tub areas, I mean the bath, the shower areas come with a sitting position. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So this side you have your tub. Uh, maybe another adjustment I would make is a big window here. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, just have a huge picture window whenever it's next to a bathtub. Like exactly. It, yeah. will, it will make a lot of sense. Yeah. And like this one that's enclosed. Yeah. Mean. But for people who like privacy, this is good for you. Mm -hmm. They even added a linear window over here just to give yeah. you privacy. There's a lot of room in this area. Yeah. So I believe that there are many ways you can even play with it or reorganize it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, moving on to this other space, this one gets a small uh, balcony space. 
as we are talking about uh, the tab area, I was just trying to think of how you can reconfigure that space and open it to this so yeah. that you can sort of have like an outdoor experience with the tub. Yeah. 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 Um, it would have been nice yeah. if the tub would have, like it would have been open yeah. and then the tub would have been sitting there at the, at the middle exactly. so that it's like, you know, yeah. an open space that yeah. flows to the tub. And this has just reminded me of Leonard again. Uh -huh. We are designing his house. We are part of the design team yeah. of his house mm -hmm. in uh, Kijani Ridge. Yeah. Uh, guys, you should look out to that, and I'm telling you, it's gonna be wonderful. You remember when you're talking about the tub, looking over to the forest? Yes. Can you remember that conversation? Yeah, yeah. I and you had a big uh, sip of how many times do you spend you in, spend the time, so yeah, in the tub? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, guys, that is our first uh, project to be involved in fully, from the concept to the design to everything. Yeah. And even to the execution. Look forward to that. We're going to be taking the journey with a client who saw the potential and uh, called. So that actually may, reminds me of something I should mention. Uh, there are people who call Ray sometimes and they're like looking for architects, you know, and so on. It is very important that you remember that uh, this is a business. And even though watching really counts, the YouTube money is not enough to keep this channel going. Yeah? Yeah. So we do charge for those consultations. And therefore, if Ray gives you a fee, respectfully understand that this is work. OK? Yeah. Yeah. And with that, Willis, any last words of this property? Um, I mean, this is value for money. Yeah. That is the only word I have. Value for money because the lush gardens, yeah. um, two houses. Yeah. Did you see the staff quarters? Yeah. I mean, like, I'm sold. <laughs> and I'm looking at the pricing. And as we were discussing earlier on with the owner, yeah. when the dollar was at 165, uh -huh. I mean, it was quite high. Yeah. And when the dollar came down, he said, no, I'm not going to change the pricing. I'm going to stick with it. Yeah? Yeah. It is $1.19 million. If you actually get a good deal on 130, it comes all the way almost to 140 million Kenyan shilling. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a very good deal, yeah? So if uh, you'd be interested in his property, just give Ray a call. He's going to tell you how you can come down here, Kiambo Road, and see this massive and gorgeous property for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. And with that, we say goodbye. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.